uh, today's experiment is about the calibration of micrometer. I'm calibrating the micrometer by using the slip gauges, which act as a standard. I will calibrate this micrometer. The least count for the micrometer is the smallest division on the main scale is 0 0.5. If you rotate one revolution rotation, it is nothing but 0 0.5. It moves 0 0.5 smallest is 0 0.5 divided by number of division on the vernier scale this is the number of division on the vernier scale this is 45 if you measure it it will be 50 least count is 0 0.01 mm now actual reading i will take the readings here uh, 2.51 2.52 53 2.55 that three readings are enough this is the actual reading i will go for it then i will go for a built-in phenomena built-in phenomena 2.51 I will make this one as a 0 1.01 0 5 will be as it is 1 1.5 this slip gauges are available in a slip gauge box this is the slip gauge box this is a slip gauge box I have to make the combination of 1.10 1.01 and uh, 1.5 these are the two combination I have to pick and I have to go for ringing phenomena then I have to go for ringing phenomena then you have to place between the spindle and anvil of this micrometer a light force is applied then go for 1 2 3 if you measure the value now it in value will be what the value will be what 0 0.5 0 0.5 1 1.5 2 2.5 it is the 2.5 is visible therefore 2.5 I will write 2.5 plus it is between 1 and 2 I will take as 2 2 into 0 0.01 if you measure it it will be 2.52 2.52 I will write 2 2.52 I I will write to 2.52 here. I will write 2.52. Next, I will go for 2.53. 2.53, I will make this one as a 0. 0. Based on the slip gauges, I am making this one 0. If 3 is not available, then you have to go for 4, 5. And 5 as it is, 1, 1.5, 0, 0. That means 1.3 is required for the calculation. 1.3 go for ringing phenomena and place between the anvil and the spindle S small amount of force is required don't don't apply the maximum force go for one two three clicking sound now reading will be what reading 0 0.5 1 2 2.5 is visible 2.5 plus uh, between 4 and 3 go for 4 into 0 0.01 the answer will be 2.54 2.54 similarly you can do for this one the correction this and this you will get the value error this and this you will get the value percentage of error In finding the percentage of error every time you have to find the larger value minus smaller value divided by larger value this is a very important for finding the error a larger value in this way you have to do 2.52 minus 2.51 divided by 2.52 into 100 you will get the error error should be every time it should be positive okay every time the error should be positive in this way you can do it that means larger minus smaller larger minus smaller divided by larger you have to do it you will get error percentage of error in this way you have to follow the procedure i'm satush gankar thank you very much